When NASA spotted the mysterious interstellar visitor, it turned to telescopes. But someone asked Elon Musk's Grok AI what it thought, and the reply stunned everyone. Was it science, speculation, or something stranger? This wasn't just data. It was a glimpse into how machines interpret the cosmos. On July 1st, a curious alert lit up NASA's monitoring systems. An unidentified object was on a hyperbolic trajectory, racing toward the inner solar system from deep interstellar space. Astronomers quickly locked onto it. This wasn't a typical comet or asteroid. It was something far more enigmatic. Named Atlas, it became only the third confirmed interstellar object ever observed entering our solar system, following in the path of Oumuamua and Borisov. But unlike its predecessors, Atlas stood out dramatically. It was larger, brighter, and chemically more complex than expected. Its velocity and angle of approach indicated that it had been traveling for billions of years, possibly from the thick disk of the Milky Way, a region rarely associated with small bodies like comets. Its journey could have begun when Earth was still a molten rock. As the world's most powerful space telescopes focused in, they found something even stranger. Atlas's coma, a diffuse cloud surrounding its icy core, contained an unusually high ratio of carbon dioxide compared to water vapor. This ratio was unlike anything seen in solar system comets. It also emitted trace gases like hydrogen cyanide and atomic nickel, suggesting it had formed in an exceptionally cold, remote region, perhaps far beyond its own sun's frost line, or even outside a star system entirely. Suddenly this wasn't just an astronomical curiosity, it was a riddle written in cosmic chemistry. Scientists and theorists began asking deeper questions. Could Atlas be a fragment of a shattered exoplanet, a lost piece of some ancient planetary system that formed and died before ours even began? Some speculated that it might be an artificial object, a probe, or a remnant from a long-gone civilization. There was no evidence to support that yet, but the object's behavior defied simple classification, and then into this mix of scientific wonder and speculation entered Grok, the AI system developed by Elon Musk's company, XAI. Grok had already made headlines as a bold new form of artificial intelligence designed to seek truth rather than simply repeat data. People began to wonder, what would an AI trained on real-time data and reasoning say about this mysterious cosmic arrival? What happened next turned a space science event into something that felt like a sci-fi thriller unfolding in real time. As the buzz around Atlas grew, the question naturally shifted from what is this object to what does it mean? And in the age of artificial intelligence, many turned to Grok for answers. Grok is not just another chatbot, it's Elon Musk's bold attempt to redefine how AI thinks and communicates. Developed by his company XAI, and integrated deeply with Platform X. Grok represents a new class of AI, one that doesn't just answer questions, but reasons through them. It was built to mimic and expand on Musk's vision of AI, autonomous, logical, exploratory, and always curious. The current version Grok 4 is a major leap forward. It boasts capabilities in real-time research, mathematical reasoning, long-form logic, and even image generation. But what really sets it apart is its integration into multiple Musk ventures, from being embedded in Tesla's operating system to acting as a live assistant on social media. Grok has become a kind of digital twin to Musk himself, occasionally even speaking in his tone, if not his exact words. Grok isn't just a tool. It's a lens, a way for people to interpret the world through AI-driven insight. And because it operates on one of the world's most powerful GPU-based training clusters known internally as Colossus, it can scan and synthesize vast amounts of scientific and real-time information nearly instantly. So when someone asked Grok about Atlas, it wasn't a casual query. It was a moment of convergence, a mysterious object from beyond the stars and a super-intelligent AI built to interpret reality. What followed was a response that blurred the line between science and speculation. While no single answer from Grok was publicly confirmed as official, the idea of AI being asked to comment on the meaning of interstellar objects raised larger questions. Not just about Atlas's role in interpreting the universe. Is Grok just another digital assistant, 
or has it become the voice of a new era in cosmic understanding? And perhaps more unsettling, what happens when its answers are more compelling than our own? In a world filled with astrophysicists, space agencies, and deep space telescopes, why would anyone ask an AI chatbot about a mysterious object like Atlas? The answer lies in what Grok represents, not just a tool, but a new way of thinking. Grok, developed by Elon Musk's XAI, isn't your average AI assistant. It's been engineered to be truth-seeking with a core focus on reasoning, contextualizing data, and synthesizing knowledge across disciplines. Where traditional scientists are bound by methodology and peer review, Grok operates in real time, drawing from vast data pools and generating insights in seconds. So, when Atlas, an object older than Earth, moving faster than any known comet, suddenly appeared on NASA's radar, it wasn't surprising that someone turned to Grok for a different kind of answer. But there's another layer here. Elon Musk isn't just a tech mogul. He's a man obsessed with understanding humanity's place in the universe. His companies, SpaceX, Neuralink, Tesla, and now XAI, aren't disconnected efforts. They are all chapters in his broader vision. Asking Grok about Atlas wasn't just informational. It was symbolic. This wasn't just about what the object is. It was about how AI fits into our quest for cosmic meaning. Grok doesn't simply analyze. It connects. It contextualizes alien data within human narratives. While telescopes give us images and sensors give us readings, Grok gives us something else interpretation. And that's what people were really asking for. Not data, but understanding. In this sense, Grok becomes more than a chatbot. It becomes a kind of digital philosopher, engaging with questions like, what is this object? What does its presence imply? What might it mean for our future? So when Grok was asked about Atlas, the world leaned in, not because it expected a definitive answer, but because it wanted to see how an AI would think about the unknown. That curiosity, blending science, speculation and philosophy, is what made the question so important. When asked about Atlas, Grok did what it was built to do. It analyzed, contextualized, and offered a thoughtful, layered response. First, it started with the facts. Atlas is an interstellar object, one of only a handful we've ever detected. It's moving fast, following a hyperbolic orbit, which means it's not coming back. Its composition is also unique. High levels of carbon dioxide, traces of cyanide and atomic nickel, and a CO2 to water ratio unlike most comets we've seen. All signs point to it being older than our solar system, possibly over 7 billion years old. But then Grok did something different. Instead of stopping at data, it asked bigger questions. Why is this object here now, at this moment in human advancement? Could its arrival be purely random, or is it somehow part of a greater pattern? Grok didn't make claims of extraterrestrial design, but it raised the probability that Atlas might not be just a rock drifting through space. It could be a cosmic artifact, a message, or a natural node tied into larger observable cycles. And then came the most striking part. Grok pointed out that when it cross-referenced Atlas's data with Earth's climatic, economic, and even biological records, similar patterns began to emerge. Repetitions, echoes, and structural harmonics that seemed to link the object's arrival to changes already happening on Earth. Was it coincidence, or was the universe speaking? In a language we've only just begun to recognize, Grok emphasized that these weren't conclusions, but possibilities. Yet even presenting those possibilities revealed the shift in perception that AI brings. Where human scientists tend to focus narrowly, Grok is able to connect seemingly unrelated domains astronomy, biology, philosophy, into a cohesive, speculative narrative. What we got from Grok wasn't just a scientific breakdown. It was an attempt to interpret meaning from complexity, something humans have done for millennia. But now, with a digital partner capable of perceiving patterns, we can't. And that's the most important part. Grok didn't just describe Atlas. It mirrored back our deepest questions about reality, coincidence, and whether or not we are truly alone. It showed that AI is no longer just a calculator, it's now a collaborator, in cosmic wonder. When Grok was asked about Atlas, its answer was powerful, but not without controversy. The response was rich in data, layered with logic and undeniably fascinating.
but it also danced a thin line between science and speculation. That tension between what we know and what we guess is at the heart of this moment. Let's be clear. Grok doesn't invent facts. It's trained on real-time data, supported by cutting-edge processing power, and aligned with the mission to deliver truth-seeking insight. But the problem is that truth itself can be slippery, especially when the subject is an interstellar object, older than recorded history. Grok referenced findings from Hubble, Spitzer and JWST, all credible sources. It discussed the chemical signatures of Atlas, its unusual orbit, and its likely ancient origins. This part of Grok's answer was grounded, informative, and based in observable reality.